Newbie reporting for duty with a look at the last the Beta AR, the one that we have not seen yet, or you've probably used, but I haven't done a video on it, the Ames 85. And I think this thing is a bullet hose that kills fairly quickly, very accurate. So let's have a look at the configuration and realize I don't have it fully ranked up, and I didn't when I was shooting the content even less. I'm going to start with a reflex sight. Doesn't add, doesn't detract, but it helps with the the aiming and accuracy. The gain twist barrel increases my bullet velocity and there are some long lanes on these smaller maps. Either that or the long barrel which will improve your firepower over a longer range. The extended mag one. You're going to go through bullets fairly quickly with this and I found the extended mag one left me with my clothes on in front of multiple enemies because I just felt absolutely vulnerable when I saw three guys coming at me because I felt I could only get one, maybe two of them. With the extended mag, you have a shot at all three. The assault grip, and that helps with the sprint to fire speed. And when is that ever a bad thing? I mean, you don't want to be standing there pulling your weapon up while somebody is popping you. So let's put that on. Besides, it was the only grip available to me. The balance stock helps with the aim walking movement speed. That's the strafe speed and the movement speed. Two good things there. There are no cons. I I suppose there's going to be some cons added once the production version releases. So I can't take this into the shooting range to show you what it does, but I can take it on to the beta field of honor, see how it did for grandpa, see what it did to grandpa's beta enemies. Let's go. Let's get into oh, this. Derelict. derelict. That's what my parents always told me I'd become if... I didn't get 100% on the test. You're going to be a derelict. My dad was from Eastern Europe. Demanded perfection that is impossible to provide sometimes, but this isn't about my childhood. Because I love my dad and wanted to be just like him. All right. Back to the aims. You can see that it puts out bullets quickly. And Grandpa seems to be able to accept bullets from the air enemy just as quickly. Funny story about my dad. We were, like I said, he was Eastern European. He was a refugee after World War II. Joined the American Army. Came to the U.S. with nothing in his pockets and built a good life for himself and for us, the family. But... He was a helicopter pilot in the Army, and we were going, Come we on. lived at Fort Rucker, Alabama, which is okay. close to Panama City, Florida. That wasn't him. And I have two sisters. The three of us are within six years of age total, so two years apart roughly for each. And we were sitting at the gas station, 95 miles to Panama City, gas station halfway on the weekends. All of our friends in the junior high and high school stopped at this one gas station on the way to the beach. And my dad, of course, dressed like an Eastern European at the time with his plaid Bermuda shorts, his black socks, with uh, suit shoes, I called them. And uh, <laughs> in a striped shirt. And he comes walking out. I mean, our friends are there. We're, we're talking to them at this gas station, right? Everybody's outside the car, about 10 of us together. My, gra my dad walks out of the men's room and all the men's rooms are on the outside of bathrooms you used to have to go get a key from the person behind the desk and they'd give you a key you'd go in do your business come back out so we're all outside with our friends girls don't want to impress whatever my dad walks out with his bermuda shorts unbuckled shirt untucked and yells across the gas station to the attendant Hey, bud, 
you got any toilet paper? <laughs> and boy, we just all melted. But on the other hand, in the Vietnam War, he was a legitimate American hero as a pilot. So ain't that America takes all kinds. All right, let's go back to the Ames 85. You can see how fast it kills. I think I've already said that, but I'll keep saying that because it does. Grandpa's taking a blow there. I think this map is one of the prettier maps I've ever been on, but it's either feast or famine for me on this map because there are so many lanes that people can be set up on aiming downside. I think that's a bad guy. There you go. Notice how everybody's kind of dressed the same. A little bit of a advanced movement drop shot. Darn it. <laughs> Grandpa's oh, there's that griping store. online there. I've, I've turned down somewhere. Is there the game audio because I'm not sure what I said. So I apologize for that. But I do know there's no profanity there. Grandpa believes. And I was in the fighter squadron for years. I'm not a... My ears are not virgin, virgins to the words, nor are my lips, if I'm going to be quite honest. But as you get older, you realize there are better ways to express yourself. People dropping bombs, language bombs, every other sentence, thinking they're cool, but really what it shows is that they don't have command of the English language, nor do they have command themselves so as a senior executive as a fighter pilot in my life I always shied away from those people as potential employees or come back looking for me sometimes even good pilots because oh God, I can't believe it if you can't control your lips there's a lot more underneath that that you are unable to control don't want to preach at you. You can shout an amen if you'd like, but um, not judging. But there are times in life, you know, people use God, that statement, don't I judge. That. There are times that in life where you will be judged, and that's in the military if you happen to join up to defend the country, whatever country you're living in, but also in business life. So when you're earning a living, People are going to judge you. They're going to judge you every day. You're on the judge treadmill. So you can go ahead and disabuse yourself of that like notion that people right aren't there. going to judge. So Jan Grandpa's never said, don't judge me, because he realizes you can say it, kind of want but win people are one. judging you. How did we get into this? I think we're getting into this because the Ames is so good that Grandpa doesn't need to brag on it. He lets the, the bullets do the talking on that, that weapon. Maybe I should get closer. Is it the best in the beta? Maybe. Maybe. I still think the XM4 might be the best weapon. But it depends on whose hands it is in. Because How could we have lost that? One of the SMGs has been really, really farming Grandpa of various people. Do I think the weapons will remain the same? No. No. You're not going to have every single weapon being meta in a game. They're going to be trade-offs, and hopefully there are going to be cons. Everything's a pro right now for attachments. And, oh, my gosh, we lost that, that I think, by two. Here. Grandpa scratching his head, wondering how I could have done a little better to help win the game. So I think these two are out of order because I don't have an optic on this one. But I wanted to show the map. Rewind's kind of new. You've all played it by now if you've been doing the beta. Dying ain't a way to make a living, boy. That's what outlaw Josie Wells used to say. You know, it never hurts to be on the complete To the bounty the hunters. Map. So the thing about this map, I like it. And there are a lot of places to go inside. You can have a burger there. And exercises. 
You can go shop in other places. Fast forward. There There's actually there a video store. Do those even exist yeah. anymore where you go rent first? And right there. It was the VHS tapes and the Betamaxes, and then after that. And right there. The CDs or DVDs. Right I think they only have DVDs in that store. So if, a lot of people don't even have DVD players anymore. I never but the thing about this map, map is, if you're playing a non-objective based game, you can run for over 100 meters and never encounter an enemy, I'm especially if you're running in the ammo. back and they're running in the front. If, if you're going past the employee entrances and they're interested in window shopping, you'll never see them. So there can be a great amount of time where you never yes. see anybody on this map. AK-74, I don't know. It, it more I found that style. you can see that there's almost no recoil with this weapon. Which is kind of odd. On a weapon that shoots that fast and can deal damage that far down the lane. Oh, here's the thing. I, I kept trying to arm myself with my own ammo box there, but in this title, when you throw out the ammo box, it automatically restocks your stuff. You don't have to do anything. There's the video store. You see they have tube TVs in there. So this is 1991, the same year I went to the Gulf War in the F-4. Whoa. Sometimes you don't want to chow if you're getting hit. That'd be the definition We're of almost, an ego chow. Oh, no. And there are people. You can see long distance. There's a long shot, and there was no recoil at all with the aims. Jump shot, oh, still a player. Bad. Some people are have commented they don't like jump shots because it takes away from the advanced movement, the new advanced movement. I think it possible, I guess, but jump shotting is still very, very effective. Let's go I to think the kitchen. I'm gonna like this, this I think it'd get 100% if it was inspected by the food inspector. So those would have been three And you can see there that right the there. Ames was ranking up. I doubt I'll get any weapon fully ranked up. And there's another thing about the maps. It's easy to fall off them. It's easy to run off them. They aren't the same borders that we're used to. Oh, what's going on here? Where is that guy? Grandpa's tweaking. Oh, oh, oh stop there. Pick up the that. money. Ooh. Okay, now Grandpa like can afford one of those left. burgers. Oh, wait, it's 1991. Anybody could afford them back then. It's amazing how the prices have gone up on oh, things, isn't it? Rounds left. So, if I th isn't that an ammo so that's pack? the Ames. Um, it, it's a weapon I haven't played a lot with, yeah, except I for to make the content here. Tell me what you think about it. I, I was really surprised at how good it was. And if you watched the video, enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Oh, Give me your opinions. Okay. Helps me, helps the family. That's Cheers. Good information and peace. to have.